Hi, this is Stefan Nguyen. Hey, uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to install Windows 2008 R2 uh, server. Um, this tutorial is pretty straightforward. Going to install from scratch, how to uh, install it, and then we're going to promote it to be a domain controller. And once that's done, we're going to install DNS and DHCP servers. And once those are done, we're going to reboot it. And then we're going to cover basic administration tasks using Microsoft Management Console so we can add the uh, snap ins. Okay. And um, just a uh, quick. So uh, before we get started, uh, I just want to introduce uh, the uh, websites that this uh, blogs and video tutorials will be available through uh, vmwire.net or vblocksolutions.com or flexpotsolutions.com just all focus on EMC, VMware, Cisco and uh, NetApp and uh, you know anything uh, related um, you know data center consolidation types of uh, products and services okay uh, the reason I'm going to show is just to introduce as well as my authors online we currently have about 60 authors online as you can see right now um, like I said, my name is Stefan Nguyen, and this is my uh, own consulting uh, business. And I'm from Orlando, Florida, and here are my certifications. I'm currently a solutions architect. And this is my background right here. Um, basically, as you can see, you can um, go to the company and click on authors. And you will see a list of every you know authors we got right now. Is basically we have uh, you know almost sixty people that signed up to help us to be an author. So uh, you know it's it's pretty uh, extensive uh, certifications and uh, experience throughout you know different people. So I hope you uh, enjoy uh, what we put together for you. And this is totally all free, twenty four seven. So um, hopefully you can help spread the word. All right, so um, let's get started real quick. So this uh, this tutorial, we're going to use a VMware Workstation 7 deployed uh, on my laptop currently. I have an HP uh, Elite Book 8540W. Uh, currently runs a quad core on i7. And we have like uh, 16 gig of RAM, so it's plenty of disk space and memories for us to deploy uh, the lab here. So I'm going to start this real quick. This is VMware Workstation, as you all know. Uh, you have three choices: is neither um, create new virtual machine or create new team or open existing uh, VM or team. Okay. So this is brand new. So I'm going to start a new virtual machine right here. And you have two choices: is neither uh, typical or custom. Custom is for advanced people. If you know what you're doing, you can choose this. But uh, for this tutorial, I'm going with typical settings, recommend it, click next. And three choices to mount your CD-ROM or ISO files. Uh, I will uh, mount it later. Okay, so VMware Workstation has a series of operating systems, different flavors that you can choose to deploy. The best thing is this one, you can virtualize the VMware ESX 4.0 to. So uh, if you want to test lab on ESX, this is your best choice. But for right now, we just want to install the uh, Windows uh, 2008 R2. So we just choose the version drop down menu here and choose uh, what we need. That's what I want. Click next. And with this lab, you know, you want to name your virtual machine. Uh, since it's a lab, I'm going to uh, give it a lab name and DC01 for my first uh, domain controller. And browse to the locations where you want to store this. Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, probably right here. I'm going to store the on the data drive, the I drive, which I already have the virtual machines uh, folder created. And just give it a name in the folder, it will create its own. Just click next. And here's the disk uh, space size. Uh, by default, 2008 R2, it gives you a 40 gig, but you can shrink it down to fit what you need to standardize it, right? So at work, you know, we want to make sure it's standardized, all the apps that we plan to install, and we just want to make sure it is, is correctly a uh, template. And uh, I will talk in more details about VMware templating your Windows uh, 
no servers for right now I just want to give it 30 gig and just click next and here's the summary of what we just went through basically it's only one gig of RAM so uh, uh, let's go ahead and finish this all right let's do some editings right so click on edit virtual machine settings to add remove this devices right here okay so the memory uh, is currently at uh, one gig I want to change it to two gig it's currently at one uh, virtual CPU you can change it to whatever settings you want the max is eight virtual CPUs and SCSI drive this is the hard drive so it's 30 gig CD-ROM I want to mount it so choose browse and mount to the ISO file and find the locations this is MSDN so we have license for MSDN or whatever license you got if you don't please uh, download the try version it should works fine for you alright make sure it say connect app power on floppy disk if you need it I don't suggest you to because there's no need unless you want to install additional drivers for network depends what you want I'm going to use bridge for my uh, network here or you want to add it or you want to host only or you want to customize and choose whatever MVM nets here I'm going to use bridge and USB controller I don't need that remove that I don't need sound card I don't need printer now if you want to add additional NICs or you want to add additional hard drives you can click on the add button and you can choose the device type to add for instance you want a hard disk click next and new virtual uh, disk click next and then SCSI or IDE types click or uh, mode click next and just give it a space size and you want to spin it up right now and it's come fully committed that means it takes forever or if you don't check this one it's on demand you know it's if you use it it will grow if not it won't grow so it's, it's kind of thin provision types so I'm going to close this I'm need additional drive display all right so um, our settings for the VMs completed let's do a quick installations click on this to power on okay so here's the install screen uh, I'm gonna do a quick install right here so just follow real quick the English gonna be uh, the, the, the language gonna be English here and the keyboard's gonna be US type so click next there's only one choice is install here or you want to repair your computer right so just click install now it's brand new okay from here you can select the uh, operating system additions we're going to install the R2 Enterprise full standard uh, full installations for those who want to just uh, strip down all the unnecessary services you can choose the core and be more specific it's less uh, space and quicker uh, secure too so I'm going to choose the full installation click next and of course you need to accept the agreement on Microsoft licensing term so click next and two choice you want to upgrade from existing OS's or you want to do in advances this is what I'm going to do because it's brand new install new copy of Windows and right now the disk drive is selected you can choose drive options in advance if you want to delete it partition it or whatever you want you can do it here see as you can see you select it create new or if it's already a partition you can delete it extend it but uh, since this is brand new I want to format everything and then just select that and click next and at this point it has five steps phases so during the installations basically it's trying to copy Windows files and then expand to Windows files and then install features and updates and after that it's going to complete itself and reboot it
So uh, while waiting for the installations to uh, complete, let's talk about what is the uh, Active Directory. Well, basically, Active Directory is is, is like a, a phone book directory, right? So this is uh, one of the strongest, you know, product uh, features from Microsoft standpoint. It holds all the, uh, you know, computer objects, printer, whatever you name it, on the networks. It holds it, and it can support millions of objects. And um, so, so we need that to start a domain controller and stuff like that. So you know, we uh, a servers or, or client can join the network, which is the domain. You first of all, you need to have a, a domain like Yahoo.com or whatever, Microsoft.com. Those are called domains, right? Um, so. Uh, so what's DNS and DHCP? Basically, you know, uh, you want to name resolution, so you want to install the DNS name server, right? So it can communicate and queries whatever you want to ping it or you want to search or whatever. It needs to translate from your know, binary to a real domain name type something people can understand, right? So uh, next one is what? What's DHCP? Is dynamic host control protocol, right? So. Uh, Basically, at work or anywhere else, you, you have a series of, of pull up uh, dynamic IP addresses for your um, workstations or um, laptop or whatever devices that doesn't need static IP addresses. So, anyone who authenticated during the, uh, the login, it should have a uh, the dynamic IP addresses without to manually configure other TCP IP settings. This is very useful for large or small or whatever environment that needs uh, you know quick automated uh, IP scheme to get on the network, right? So, what's uh, what are the server roles and features? Basically, role is like. Um, 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 like uh, you know, web server, print server, DNS, DHCP servers. You know, read-only domain controllers type of roles and services. Now later, I will show you where to add those roles and remove those roles from the uh, you know server manager console. Uh, features like uh, you know what kind of features that can be included like uh, .NET um, 3.5 frameworks or you know remote app you know application features uh, extra features that helps enhance the role itself right requirement features right so um, let's go back to the screen real quick see how how the pro well right now is still copying expanding files at 10 percent so we're gonna resume later. Okay, uh, as you see right now is the uh, Windows uh, Server has uh, been uh, completed and installations. All we need is to change a new password and we can log in. Click OK. And type in your new password twice. And then just click the arrow key. Okay, password has been changed. Just click OK. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's do some basic uh, administration real quick. Let's give this a new computer name. Go change computer name lab DC01. Still in a work group. Click OK. You go events. You want to change performance settings to best performance. And if you want to change your paging, you can change it from here. And remote, we want to make sure we can allow RDP into this just like that. And let's start later. You can change time zone here, you can activate this later, uh, which I use a try version and I don't feel like uh, activating. Um, if you didn't have to, you just enter your product key and configure the network. Right click on this, go to properties. We want to disable the uh, TCP IP version 6. We want to change this v4. Let's use the static IP for this domain controller. I am going to give it dot uh, 2 IP address. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to configure additional um, DNS information, you can either append DNS suffix here and add it right here. I don't care, just for test. Wins, if you have any Win server old computer, like Windows 98, stuff like that, you can still use, uh, use Win. Uh, we don't have it, so I'm going to ignore it. Click OK, closed. There we go. 
and later we're going to add roles and features real quick before I reboot it.